The concept of isolated limb infusion is one so that we can deliver higher doses of stronger chemotherapies to isolated parts of the body only where the disease is present. This theoretically spares the rest of the body from the toxicities uh, of systemic chemotherapy. What we use for isolated limb infusion is a circuit where the chemotherapy runs through the tubing through a warmer to heat the chemotherapy and into the patient's leg or arm. It then can dwell and circulate where we manually move the chemotherapy through the entire limb and after a period of time all the chemotherapy is then removed back out through the tubing and the blood is flushed clean. Some cancers of the skin and soft tissues such as melanoma or sarcoma have the ability to spread to the rest of the body. When these cancers are located in one of the limbs they sometimes stay isolated to just that limb though they may spread throughout it. In these instances treatment for the skin or soft tissue cancer can be limited to just that limb and avoid treating the entire body with toxic chemotherapies. Some of the original procedures that were done using this principle would perfuse the entire limb or put chemotherapy through the blood vessels so that only that limb would receive high dose and strong toxic chemotherapy. Over the years, modifications in this perfusion treatment has allowed for infusion. And we now have the ability to do isolated limb infusion, which is a much less complex and morbid procedure, but allows much of the same benefits. The goal is to treat just that one part of the body with heated and high dose chemotherapy to treat cancer that has spread anywhere within that limb. This is an example of one of the scans of uh, one of the first patients ever treated in Chicago with this isolated limb infusion. And she has multiple melanomas throughout her leg from a primary melanoma many years ago that was down uh, uh, just above her ankle. And by isolating that limb just at this level, we were able to do this isolated limb infusion to treat all the cancers and spare the rest of her body. After her therapy, she had significant uh, response to the treatment with disappearance of some of her lesions and the other shrinking considerably. We usually watch the patients for a few days in the hospital after the procedure to monitor them for any side effects. This particular patient was in the hospital for a few days and did not have any side effects. This procedure is well established and safe, though it is currently only being offered in a few isolated centers throughout the U.S. and the rest of the world.